And welcome back, everybody, to Let's Play Banjo and Kazooie. In the last episode, we went through Clanker's Cavern, the third level of this game, and we got all the notes and all the jiggies and all the honeycomb pieces and whatnot, and we unlocked uh, the next world, Bubble Gloop Swamp, which we got through with the painting and all that other stuff. And we also unlocked the note door that's up here, if we come up this hill here. Yeah, we unlocked this note door up here. We only needed 180 note notes to get it, and we had 300, so... Today's episode, we're going to go further into Gruntilda's Lair, hopefully find Bubble Gloop Swamp now that we've unlocked it. So, in this main part of the hub, as you can see, there's a Jiggy locked up in the cage up there. So, we're going to be getting that pretty soon. Bubble Gloop Swamp is actually up this hill here. We're just going to completely ignore most of the stuff here, besides what's behind here. We're actually going to go ahead and jump over here, because Gruntilda's over here. So let's go ahead and take a talk to her. My lazy sister often sleeps on a pile of treasure, the dirty hag. <laughs> the only thing she ever won was the dirtiest undies competition at Wits Witch School. Ew, that's disgusting. She often boasts of appearing on the cover of Fat Hag Monthly, posing in her long johns. Ew. I just say, unwanted, you know, I need to get the bleach, my friends. <laughs> get the images out of my head. Anyways, Bubble Goose Swamp is up here. So we're going to go ahead and jump down here. We unlocked Bubble Goose Swamp's painting last episode, so now we can just go on our merry way into the level here. There's a couple things over here we're going to be talking about soon. We have an upgrade right here. Hey, keep your feet out. You can't use us until you've spoken to bottles. Okay, so we're going to be using that pretty soon. My belly's big. It's rather neat. Year, it's years since I've seen my feet. <laughs> I love that. It's so funny. But there's actually another Bruntilda. Hi, we just, we just saw you just literally like 30 seconds ago. My fat old sister's favorite sport is belly barging. Although she's dim, she attended Fat Hag High. <laughs> you won't believe that Gruntilda's party trick is blowing balloons up with her butt. Ew. <laughs> so yeah, there's another Gruntilda there if you need to know more stuff about Grunty. Like I said, I don't th see how anybody would want to know stuff about Grunty. She's nasty. Anyways, Bubble Gloop Swamp's all the way down here. Uh, this water here is very dangerous. You don't want to land in it because it's got piranhas in it. So just be mindful of that. There is a honeycomb hive up behind the, the entrance here, but we don't need to use it. Let's go into Bubble Gloop Swamp. Now this level, this level is kind of a, a swampy area. Keep your eyes open for new moves, beak face. <laughs> so we have to go find bottles immediately. Uh, bottles, I do believe, is not very far from here. Uh, he's actually from the at the entrance. Uh, yeah, he's right over here. So we're gonna be learning our new move pretty quickly. We got uh, bullfrogs over here. <laughs> Just take them out with the ratatat rap. Pretty much every enemy is effective against this thing. So let's go ahead and talk to bottles here. These are wading boots. Chicken Legs wears them, so you can safely wade through dangerous areas like the swamp for a limited time. Okay, chicken, er, kazooie, let's go grab a pair. Great, now you know all the swamp's new moves. That's literally it. There's only one move in here, and that's the in order to unlock the wading boots here. Which, you know, you'll see them just, you know, just hopping around on that stool here. But before we do anything, this crocodile right here. His golden crocodile is opening his mouth. He's just inviting danger. Let's go ahead and just, you know, oh, feed him an egg. Yummy. Crocodus like that. <laughs> so, yeah, he's just going to teleport all throughout the level. We're just going to have to find him and kind of, uh, you know, <laughs> feed him more eggs. We can climb this thing here real quick. I do believe there's something up here. Yeah, some red feathers. Even though we don't really need them. <laughs> we already got Max. Alright, so let's go ahead and try out these waiting boots. So as soon as you do that, there's going to be a time limit on these things. Uh, so just be very careful. Just keep listening to the music, because, well, 
um, there's a timer that's ticking down, you can hear it in the music, and eventually you'll hear it and then be like, oh, it's about, yeah, the tick timer ticking is going right now. But you can wade through this swampy area that's is full of piranha, mo uh, piranha, uh, piranha fish that are gonna just bite Banjo every second you're in there. We're gonna go ahead and grab this Jinjo right here, he just, you know, he's whistling at me. Ow! This is piranha water. Keep your smelly feet out. <laughs> All right, fine. I'll try to keep it out. <laughs> yeah, that, that's pretty much. That's why you don't want to touch the water in this level. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and grab this thing here. I do you believe there's something up here? We did get that mumbo token that was in the water, so that's good. We got some more mumbo tokens. Mumbo is on this level, so you might want to get as many mumbo tokens as you can. So just keep that in mind. Now, when we come up here, we have branching pathways. We can keep going further, like down their way, go down that way where that giant turtle's over there, or we can keep going down this way. But there's also something right here. You can see there's a switch here with the puzzle piece. Let's go ahead and do this one real quick. This one is a time, a time puzzle for the jigsaw. So yeah, we only have 45 seconds to get up here and do this real quick. Uh, I would really suggest if you can, don't worry about the notes. Uh, you're going to get them whenever you're done with this stuff, so just keep going around the bin here. Be very careful. This can be, you know, very slippery with the controls and everything. So, I'm going to go down here. And fail miserably, like I, I knew I was going to. I knew I was going to do that because, like I said, my depth perception is not that good. So I'm just going to wait until the timer runs out, and then we're going to try again. I'll be young and tooty old before you get Grunchy's gold. <laughs> yeah, she kind of mocks you for not getting it. Let's try again. Talon Trot's the way to go on this, unfortunately. I, I it's just so I, I don't mind the platforming in here, but I always have trouble just trying to go around these crevices like this. I don't know. I'm just not very good at 3D games very well. There's some I grew up with and I'm really good at. But, you know, I grew up with this game, but only playing it at, at like, uh, Kmart stores and kiosks and stuff like that, because I never really owned this game as a kid. I always wanted it. But there we go. Got our first Jiggy. <laughs> there we go. That wasn't too bad. That was the second try. I kind of had a hunch it was going to take me a couple tries to do that one. That one always is, always is a pain in the butt. All right, so Croctus, if I remember correctly, that, yeah, the golden alligator is up here. So we're going to go ahead and come up here and feed him another blue egg. There we go. He's going to spawn up there where the huts are. We're going to go over there here in a little bit, but just keep in mind he's up there. Speaking of mumbo tokens, there's a mumbo token right there. Let's grab that. Now I got 18. I think, we, I think the requirements is like 15 for this world, but I'm not too sure. Uh, we'll find out when we get to Mumbo's Hut. <laughs> so, now that we have done the middle section, we have an option where we can go. There's a, there's a lot of branching pathways here. I'm gonna go this way. Is there a gold feather? Yeah, there's a golden feather under there. Well, <laughs> I'll have to worry about it later. Yeah, let's go over this way first. And here, there's gonna be more poison bog, bog frogs. I'm just going to go ahead and peck him with my my face and kind of glitch out there for a second. That was weird. <laughs> he was like falling infinitely on, on the side. Yeah, he was like falling infinitely there. It was kind of weird. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and use these waiting boots here. Because we can... I'm going to say, you're going to jump. There we go. <laughs> Jeez, I need to get those notes over there, man. Come on, Kazooie. Move faster, Pokey. I'm probably not going to get all of them. Oh, well, maybe. I'm going to get hurt. Nope. Nope. I just barely got out of there on my iframes. <laughs> there we go. Uh, right here at this egg, we're going to have to use this egg here. So we're going to use the shock jump pad here to jump up this way. And before you do that, do a backflip to get an extra life. There we go. But we're going to go do our beak, beak bash down there and use that. And then... We come over here, we're gonna go hit the X with the rat attack wrap there. And then I can probably just backflip on here. There we go. And do the ground pound again. 
And then finally, on the top, on the end here, we're gonna do our beak charge. There we go. And then jump again, do the ground pound again. There we go. We've got our second jiggy. Duh huh. <laughs> now I'm gonna have to get back here because there's I think there's actually can I see up there? Yeah, there's a mobile token up there. Yeah. I barely made it. There we go. Pull the camera out there. I don't like the camera being so close. There we go. Got another mumbo token. Alright, so now that we've cleared out that area, let's go down this way. Uh, let's go down... Actually, hold on. Let's go this way. Here we go. There is something we could do with that alligator, but... We need a certain thing in order to do that. I think we should go visit this mister. Oh, no, we got we got this thing. I forgot about this thing. All right, there's your head trespassers after our gold, but he'll never beat us all. Are you sure about that? Let's put on our golden feathers and show him a thing or thing or three. Yeah, they can just you know just run into him. You just kill him easily. We like doing this. It's a glorified gold, uh, waste of golden feathers, but hey. Blab. You're too tough. That's for us bliblets. Take our gold. And if you beat all the frogs here, we get another jiggy. You can fight these guys normally with, you know, rat -a -tat rap and all that other stuff, but I always use gold feathers on this part, because it's just like the guys are just gonna die in running into me, so it's not gonna it's nothing I'm really too worried about. Alright, so I say let's go visit this turtle over here. He says, ooh, my feet are so numb and cold. Well, you are a cold-blooded creature. I bet you you'd get really cold and just sitting here in this dirty old swamp. Let's go ahead and grab these notes here. And I think there's something I think there's more waiting boots on the top of his shell here. Let's go ahead and grab these uh Jinjos down here. Get our second gin, Joe. <laughs> I think there's some more stuff over here, but I'm not too sure. I think it's just red feathers, so I'm not really in the old dire need of red feathers right now. Okay, there we go. Alright, let's help out Mr. Turtle here by bashing his feet in. Ah, <laughs> oh, that's a bit better. I love that, that stock scream noise that he makes whenever I do that. It's funny. It's like, oh! <laughs> Alright, there we go. And as soon as we do that with all four of his feet, let's cough up another jigsaw puzzle. Hmm, tank top's warm at last. Perhaps you'd like this. Alright, let's get ourselves a jiggy. What up, what up? Go uh -huh. But, actually, that's not all. We can actually go inside his mouth, as inviting as that sounds. We go inside his mouth, and there's actually a whole classroom of turtles inside his belly? I don't know. <laughs> but yeah, there's a whole classroom, and there's a mumbo token right about there. There's a whole classroom of, you know, young turtles trying to learn how to do choir. Yeah, that's, that's pretty much what this is. This is a choir class. <laughs> I don't know how they got inside that giant turtle. Quiet, please. The famous Tip Top Choir will now perform my latest work. And while you're doing that, memorize which ones did what. So purple, dark purple, red. And we're going to go ahead and bash them real quick. Bit short, isn't it, shell boy? We'll see. Copy what you just heard from lesson one. Okay. Let's go do that real quick. So we did... Purple, dark purple. Wait, why didn't this work? There we go. Okay, <laughs> and then red. There we go. Hmm, not too bad. Try lesson two. Blue, orange, purple, blue, red. Okay, so we did this one. This one. It's this one. And then... Did we do blue again? Yep. And then we do red. If I can... Then my depth perception would let me. 
There we go. Ah, splendid. You just need one more lesson. And this is the hard one. Yellow, red, purple, yellow, blue, blue, blue. Okay. There goes yellow, red, purple. There goes yellow. Yeah. Blue? Light blue? And then yellow? Ah, dang it. <laughs> no, that's not right. Try again or ask me to repeat it. I think if I remember correctly, it was yellow, red, purple, blue, yellow, blue, 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 yellow? Okay, let's try that again. Let's do this. I think that's what it is. Oh, I guess I have to go ask him again. All right, let's go do it again. I knew you'd need to see this one again. Yellow, red, purple, yellow, blue, light blue, blue. That's it. Oh, yellow wasn't part of that. Okay. All right, so let's do that. Yellow, red, purple. I said purple. Blue. Oh, it was yellow! This one. There we go. Blue. Light blue. And then blue. There we go. That one, I always have really trouble me with memory games. Magnificent! A true masterpiece! Here, take this trinkets I found earlier! And we get another Jiggy. <laughs> yeah, I always have trouble with memory games. This It always drives me nuts trying to remember things. There we go, got number five. Sorry, there's nothing more I can teach you. That's okay. I just want this honeycomb piece. <laughs> yeah, you guys probably saw that honeycomb piece. It's like, oh, get that thing. Yeah, I was wanting to get it too, but, I mean, we already started the jiggy, so. There we go, that was all that was in there. All right, so that's all that on this side here. Now, we just need to go down this way. go down this uh, this uh the hut area now you guys will see a bunch of this a bunch of stuff that's just on the ground there i will tell you right now if you try going down and getting that stuff that's under the canopy there like those eggs and those notes up there and that jinjo that's over there um you won't be able to get it banjo's too tall to get it we're gonna have to come back here with another thing so just ignore it for right now all right so we're gonna jump up here and bash these huts in Crack them open. Crack a lap. You know, just to crack them open like an egg. There we go. And jump up this way. Oh gosh, I missed. That's okay. I didn't fall down. I'm good. Bash this open again. And looky, we're right, right here. There's some notes. There's also a grunty switch. Let's go ahead and bash that grunty switch. And that just cracks open her hat. And that allows us to get that jiggy that was uh, that we saw at the beginning of the episode. All right, let's go ahead and bash this open. Get another shock pad. And jump up this way. Nope, nope, nope. Wrong one. Should have pan the pan the camera out. Go this way. Go. Jump this way. And bash this one open. Now there's Croctus over there on our adventures through Bubble Gloop. Go ahead and feed you another one. As soon as we do that, he. Teleports again. <laughs> That's okay. I'm gonna use this shock pad to get that mumbo token. Yeah! Here we go. Now we got 21 put mumbo tokens. We jump up here and get our last little hut that we need to bash open. As soon as we do that, there's another jiggy. Yay! The uh huh? That's six. Um. But yeah, there's some other like stuff that's around the corners here. Like I said before, we're going to come back to this area when we have a certain thing in order to be able to cross the water without any problem. So just keep that in mind. We're just going to come back to it here in a second. <laughs> 